Drinking water companies in the Netherlands provide water for the citizenry. The water companies are regulated using voluntary benchmarking schemes. The organization which oversees this benchmarking scheme is the Association of Water Companies, VWIN. The current benchmarking schemes came into operation during the public debate on privatizing the Dutch water sector in 1997. The water companies were acting in their best interest by organizing a voluntary and public benchmarking system, thus avoiding regulation in the form of privatization. Benchmarking is a process of comparing the cost, time or quality of what one organization does against what other organizations are doing. With this, organizations evaluate various aspects of their processes in relation to best practices, usually within their own sector. The Dutch benchmarking scheme has contributed efficiency gains of approximately 23% to the sector. Some professionals in the water sector have argued that the benchmarking scheme is a powerful tool to improve the performance of water organizations. Other observers, however, have argued that the results of these benchmarking studies are often used for political purposes and as such are more of a political tool than a management tool. Please join us on our travels to discuss the issues with politicians, water supply professionals, consumers and the academia. Let's follow with you. Because we think it's very important to compare our business to others, to learn, to improve and to also to be sure that we are uh, ahead because we want to be ahead. Um, I think that uh, benchmarking is uh, very important in, in uh, public owned utilities uh, because uh, uh, public utilities have no competition yeah? um, and um, you need benchmarking to keep them uh, strong and innovative. So, in general, you can say the instrument works. And I really think that uh, Dutch water companies are doing a great job. Uh, there's always some improvement possible, of course. Well, I think we can always improve. But you can never really isolate benchmarking as a tool from how the, the sector is set up. So maybe the reason why benchmarking has been relatively successful in the Netherlands mm. is because in the Netherlands there's the system of self-regulation. That you leave a lot of creativity and uh, uh, abilities to individual water utilities to do something with these benchmarking results. Some professionals in the water sector have argued that the benchmarking scheme is a powerful tool to improve the performance of water organizations. Other observers, however, have argued that the results of these benchmarking studies are often used for political purposes and as such are more of a political tool than a management tool. And yet others who support the success story of the Dutch water sector as the envy of the rest of the world will say it works as regulation. To explore these different arguments, we are going to specifically examine the following Independent Regulator, Transparency, Dividend and Profits. Where is Willie taking us now? What the sector uh, relies on trust. Just like you trust uh, the water which comes from the tap as a consumer, that the water is good and you won't die five seconds after you drink it. One of the defining characteristics of the Dutch water supply sector is the high level of trust between the different actors, the government, the water supply companies and the end users. Given the high level of trust in the sector and the possibility that this trust may be broken with little or no punishment, as we heard in an interview with Mr. Arden of Kipitans, is there the need for a central regulator or objective oversight in the sector? And now to explore this question, let us see what different people are saying. Yeah, well, I think that uh, there is one uh, thing, uh, thing where we are critical on. Uh, the benchmarks in Holland are not uh, independent. The uh, responsibility for the uh, control, the benchmark control, should be in public hands. There were votes in the Netherlands, and, and, and people asked us also to. In, 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 to, to include this independent regulator in, in the law. And we said, we don't do this. Uh, we, we don't think there should be a central regulator. 
uh, we don't see the benefits of a central regulator. That's in the city of Amsterdam, we never are impressed very much about regulation. Is benchmarking really transparent? But also one of the strengths maybe is that it's uh, um, organized by the Dutch uh, Association of Drinking Water Companies. Meaning they themselves are organizing the, de the benchmarking and they themselves are reporting on whether they are doing good or bad. The end user said they need this transparency. They are only looking at the price they pay. I know it's a tool by the companies, for the companies, mm. yeah, serving their interest. And there's nothing wrong with it. But in the hands of government, yeah, it can be developed to be a political tool. That's some people would think that, you know, I'm saying something strange, a political tool, but I mean it in the right sense of the word, uh, right. that it becomes the expression of what the people want. One of the ongoing debates surrounding transparency is the level of dividend and profit and to whom they are paid. There are many different opinions in the sector on this particular subject. For example, from 2006 to 2008, the Dutch water supply companies enjoyed profits that were perceived as higher than reasonable, as evidenced by numerous newspaper articles following the publishing of corporate financial reports. So what are people saying? We will now follow Willie and see where he takes us. We want them to be sharp and have their prices as low as possible no. in the amounts which are really set in the law. And uh, I know that we, I was not too popular right. for that by them, okay. but they can, uh, they can live with it. But the Socialist Party, yeah. we say uh, a public utility mm. shouldn't pay profits to the government or to the municipality. A lot of municipalities have, they have over the years, over many years, been used to getting a fair income out of the utilities, which they've sort of, yeah. for a long time, already made part of their municipal budgets. Huh? And they would have much difficulty if they had to replace that return, and that's pro uh, mostly a return on equity, by a return on you know, the, the value price. of their shares. Yeah, uh, yeah. And they would not easily accept that. The shareholders have the right to obtain some money, some dividend, on basis of the money they put into the company and the, the value of their shares. But we limited the amount of money they can get. They cannot increase the dividend as much as they want. What have the owners actually put into the company in terms of cash? And they should have a reasonable return on that amount of money. And that the, uh, the, the fact is, of course, they have not put a lot of money in. They haven't. If you look at the, the value, uh, the, 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 the value of the shares of the, in, in terms of it's representing the amount of money they've ever put in. So the share value, the, the value of the capital that the, the owners have brought into the company is very small. And of course, the consequence of this measure would be that the companies will start blowing up the costs just to make a lower profit. So you will essentially get completely the reverse result which you were looking for. The companies will become more inefficient because they will say, okay, I have so much revenues, so I have so much cost I need to make. Otherwise, I, uh, my profit will be too big. Quality is good, customer satisfaction is great, and prices are acceptable. There are questions surrounding transparency, profit, and dividend. But does any of these really matter? I never get, I get hundreds of mails every day. Right. And in all these 10,000 of mails a year, there are not one about drinking water. Of course, if you look at the water se drinking water sector in the Netherlands, is there a change to, is there an urge to change anything? Everybody has very nice quality water, pressure is very high, price is relatively low, efficiency is relatively good. Why would you change anything? Why would you make your own life very difficult? When it's uh, twice as expensive, it's still not a very big amount of money. It has to become very visibly a tool of government rather than a tool of the utilities. It's not because the utilities are not doing things right, but because it will change the perceptions 
on the purpose and the outcome and the meaning of the benchmarking. Everybody having a ball.